Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the question number 1 from exercise 2.4, chapter 2, triangles. In my previous videos, I have completed the theorems 2.1 to 2.6, exercises 2.1, 2.2 and 2.3, examples 1 to 9. So if you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Question number 1 from exercise 2.4, chapter 2 triangle says, let triangle ABC be similar to triangle DEF and their areas be respectively 64 cm square and 121 cm square. If EF is equal to 15.4 cm, find BC. So here there are two similar triangles that is ABC and DEF and they have given us the area of triangle ABC that is 64 cm square and triangle DEF area is 121 cm square. And they have also given us the side of triangle DEF that is EF is equal to 15.4 cm and they are asking us to determine BC of triangle ABC. So let us first draw these two triangles that is ABC and DEF. So here let us first of all write down what they have given. They have given us that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF where area of triangle ABC is given that is 64 centimeter square. Similarly area of triangle DEF is given that is 121 centimeter square then the side EF is given again it is 15.4 centimeters and we have to find the side BC of triangle ABC okay so these are the things given so now looking at what is given by now you must have understood that we have to apply the theorem number 2.6 where if two triangles are similar, that is if triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, then we can apply theorem number 2.6 which says the ratio of areas of, of two similar triangles is equal to square of the ratio of their corresponding side. Right? So write down since triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, therefore applying theorem 2.6 according to the theorem 2.6 the ratio of the areas of the two similar triangles so therefore area of triangle ABC by area of triangle DEF will be equal to square of the ratio of the corresponding side so which are the corresponding side here that is AB by DE the whole square which is equal to the second corresponding side that is BC by EF the whole square Similarly, the third side AC by DF the whole square. So they have given us here the areas of the two triangles ABC and DEF and they have given the, us the value of the side EF and they are asking us to determine the value of the side BC. So we, we are just going to take this ratio that is BC by EF the whole square. Okay, so therefore write down area of triangle ABC by area of triangle DEF will be equal to BC by EF the whole square. Now substitute the value. So area of triangle ABC is given as 64 square centimeters divided by area of triangle DEF is 121 equal to. So BC value we have to find out. EF is again 15.4 the whole square. So now let us simplify this equation. Okay, so let us take square root on both the sides so that we can remove this square term. Okay, taking square root on both the sides, we will get square root of 64 divided by 121 is equal to BC divided by 15.4 the whole square and square root of this term too. So here the square root term and the square term will get cancelled and we will be just left with square root of 64 divided by 121 is equal to BC divided by 15.4. So now here let us factorize 64 and 121 and let us find out the factors so that we can remove the square root terms. Okay, so factorizing 64 2 3s are 6, 2 2s are 4, then again 2 1s are 2, carry 1, 2 6s are 12, then 2 8s are 16, 2 4s are 8, 
two twos are four and two one times. So here how many times two we have got two one two three four five six. So here let us group the the numbers in such a way that we will get a square term. So two twos are four four twos are eight. So we will take two cube into two cube. So two cube is eight and two cube is eight. So eight into eight is sixty four, right? So let us write down eight into eight divided by let us again factorize one twenty one. So eleven ones are eleven carry one again eleven one times again eleven one times okay so one twenty one is nothing but eleven into eleven or eleven square eleven into eleven is equal to b c divided by fifteen point four you already know that if the pairing of numbers are done in a square root comes out of the square root because eight square by eleven square the square and the square root terms will get cancelled and we will be left with eight divided by eleven is equal to b c by fifteen point four now let us cross multiply and find out the value of b c so b c is equal to eight Into fifteen point four. Here we are sending this fifteen point four to the left hand side, so it comes in the multiplication form, divided by eleven. So now here, since there is a point in the numerator, this point can be removed by multiplying a ten in the denominator. Okay, so this point comes out. So now let us cancel here eleven one times. This is again eleven one times. Four will be left. It will become forty four. So eleven four is a forty four. Okay, now let us multiply eight into fourteen. So what is four eight is a thirty two. Eight one is a eight plus three is eleven. So one one two divided by ten. So if we divide one one two by ten, ten one is a ten. One is the remainder. This two comes down. Again, ten ones are ten. Again, two is the remainder. So, if we add a point here, we can add a zero. So, ten twos are twenty. So, zero is the remainder here. So, we got the quotient as eleven point two. So, the value of BC will be BC is equal to eleven point two centimeter. As we are taking centimeters, or as all the values of the side are in centimeter form. So we have BC is equal to eleven point two centimeters. So this is how we solve this problem. If you have any further doubts, do comment me below in the comment section. In my next video, I'll be solving question number two from exercise two point four, chapter two, triangle. So till then, do like my video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos. As I'll be solving the whole syllabus for class tenth SLC NCERT math, and also do watch the related videos of chapter two, triangle shown on the screen. Thank you.